Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a copycat recipe. We're making chicken brian from Carabas. This is a tasty little dish and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And before we get started, take a quick second, click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click that notification bell. So let's get right to this chicken brian. Now what you're gonna need to make this recipe is about two ounces of goat cheese, you're going to need two tablespoons of fresh basil. You're going to need two tablespoons of red onion, minced. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. About a tablespoon and a half of fresh lemon juice. One quarter cup drained chopped sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil. Six tablespoons of extra dry vermouth. Eight tablespoons of butter divided up into tablespoons two five ounce boneless skinless chicken breasts, salt and pepper to taste, and about one tablespoon of olive oil. Now the first thing we're gonna do is salt and pepper the chicken breasts. And again, as I said, this is the taste. So salt and pepper, both sides. So there you go. We got salt and pepper on here. We're gonna let those set and we're gonna get to the next step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get two tablespoons of butter. And we cut these into tablespoons, if you remember. Two tablespoons of butter in a saucepan. And we're going to saute our onions and our minced garlic. We're going to saute these till the onions are translucent or soft, probably about five minutes. Now, when you're simmering, just so you know, it looks like it's boiling, but this is a very, very low, slow boil. So... It's kind of bubbling like you see. And we're just going to let this sit for just a couple more minutes. Okay, everything's been sautéing here for about five minutes. You can see that the onions are getting done. Everything's kind of browning up just a little bit there. That's perfect. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add our lemon juice. And we're going to add our extra dry vermouth. We're going to cook this down. This will actually render down real nice. We're going to cook it for about ten more minutes. So we're going to turn up the heat just a little bit. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We've got about five more minutes on this, but you can see how it's bubbling now. It's cooking down. The flavors and smells are amazing here. Okay, this has been simmering for about 10 minutes. You can see actually how that's really cooked down. Now what we're going to do is add an additional four tablespoons of butter, but we're going to add it a tablespoon at a time until this really melts and this butter really just emulsifies in this mixture. And we're just going to kind of mix this. I'm going to keep stirring as I add the butter. See how that's changed color? See how it's really kind of getting foamy and that butter really emulsifies in here. Look at how creamy and frothy that is. Okay, so now the butter's all melted. We're going to get our basil. We're going to put our fresh basil in here. We're going to mix that around. And we're going to get our sun-dried tomatoes in here. We're going to mix this up real good. And then we're going to reduce this heat. Just keep the heat on real super low. And we're going to set this aside. And we're going to cook our chicken. That looks delicious just by itself. Okay, so now we have our other pan heating up. We're going to cook our chicken over here. About a tablespoon of olive oil. We can tell our pan's warm. So let's get our chicken breasts in here. Now, depending on the thickness of your chicken breasts, these are going to be about five minutes a side. Again, you want the chicken all, all the way done, but it depends on the thickness of the chicken breast. Two tablespoons of butter in here with the chicken. Our chicken's cooking real nice here. You see how it's real nice and white all the way up on the edges here? So it's cooked pretty good. About halfway through, you want to flip these over. We don't want to overcook this. So we want to put our goat cheese on here before it's done. So it has a chance to melt because we don't want to wait till it's done then put the goat cheese on then you're going to have really dry chicken we don't want that okay so these been cooking for a couple minutes we're going to go ahead and put our goat cheese right on here give it a chance to melt while these finish cooking all right we're going to let that cook for a minute let that goat cheese have a chance to melt a little all right we only have about 30 seconds left on these i'm just going to Pour a little bit of this butter right over this goat cheese. All right, so let's get these off the heat right onto the plate. All 
Now remember, this isn't done yet. We have our sauce that's rendering down on a real low heat. Man, you can smell the garlic, you can smell the tomatoes, you can smell the dry vermouth. And we're just gonna pour this right over the top. Look at that. Man, the aroma is amazing. I can't wait to taste this. Look at how these tomatoes and the onions and the garlic have just rendered right down. Look how nice and soft that goat cheese is. There's really only one thing left to do, and that's cut into this and give it a good taste. So, let's see how this looks. Look at that. Perfectly cooked chicken. This is going to be amazing. All right, let's get a taste. Okay, so let's test this out. Hmm. Oh, wow. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. If I didn't know that, I'd swear I was at Carabas right now. This tastes so much like the Carabas chicken brine. So let me get to finishing this off and thanks for stopping. We'll see you next time.